All right. Glasses. Okay, so um, names on the top. Uh, the first one, you're finding the total sticker price for this new vehicle. You have a base price. It's kind of a luxury sedan. It's kind of expensive. You have a bunch of options you're going to be adding in. Uh, and then you're doing uh, transportation handling to get it delivered. You have to find the total price. Now remember the base price and then all the options put together and then the tra uh, transportation handling. I would say like get the options added together first and then show me what the total is in the very end so you can show me the parts you're adding. Okay. Two, uh, you're trading in a vehicle. You know the price of the vehicle. You know your trade-in value for yours that you're trading in and you have a rebate. So you got to find the final price of that car that you are going for. It's, it's almost the deferred price if you think about it. Uh, number three, um, you have a down payment you're making on a car. You're making actually a pretty big down payment. And then, um, so that'll help you find your deferred price of what you're actually gonna pay for the vehicle. Uh, then you're gonna compare that to the monthly payments that the dealership is offering you. You know, 48 months, you know, for this price. So compare what the deferred price after you take your down payment off compared to the monthly payments, what that gives you. So you can figure out what your total interest is that they're gonna pay, that you're paying extra for the car if you decide to make those payments, okay? Um, so that, that's, that problem, we're just finding what the difference is? Yeah, you're finding the difference. That'll be the interest on the car, and then you're also finding the deferred price after you make your down payment. Um, so um, what's the interest, like of how much you? It's the difference between what you're paying for the deferred oh, price and what the payments would have been total payments. Um, this person is living in a particular risk of an area. They want a certain coverage. Um, they have their certain driving records. So you can see the factor on their policy is kind of higher. Uh, you need to figure out what the total they're spending for the six months. You don't have to divide by six. Just tell me what the total policy is. Uh, remember, use that factor on the very end. Uh, it'll be kind of a, a pricey little adventure. Um, that factor is pretty high. Uh, five, you're finding uh, the, the total mileage that you're putting on this vehicle. You bought it at a certain mileage, you're ending at a certain mileage, and you're driving it for, what, that many years? And you have to divide that and to find out what the total was um, that you average per year. Uh, six, you're finding the, uh, you have your beginning of mileage of your vehicle, the ending mileage on your trip. Uh, it doesn't look like you went very far. And you used a few gallons of fuel, and you got to figure out what your total gas mileage was, so miles per gallon, right? Uh, number seven, you have a certain rating uh, for, your, uh, for your fuel efficiency for your car. You have a certain size tank. How far can you drive on that? Uh, if, you do the, if you do the math, you should be able to figure out how many miles you're going on number seven. Eight, you have a certain uh, distance you're traveling. You have a certain uh, EPA you know, rating for, uh, for miles per gallon. Uh, you got to figure out how many gallons of fuel you're going to need. Nine, you're going to figure out the total uh, average speed of your vehicle. So you're going so many miles in so many hours. Um, make sure that you're calculating that in hours. Your hint on number nine, you need to convert those minutes to hours. So you got to divide by 60 first to get those minutes to convert to hours. So you have the decimal of it. Then you can find the miles per hour, divide those, right? 10, you have a distance, you have a certain speed that you're going, an average speed. You got to tell me how many hours you went on this trip. Uh, I want hours. It's going to be in the decimal form. If you want to change to minutes, uh, whatever the decimal is, you multiply by 60 so you can figure out the minutes. Huh? Uh, 11, I finally got rid of that weird miles thing that I had printed yesterday. I don't know why that was on there. But you have a price per gallon. You have certain gallons that you're buying for this vehicle. It's a pretty large vehicle, so it's probably a truck of some type or SUV. It's taking a lot of gallons of fuel. Um, and the gas price is pretty cheap, but I want to know how much you're paying total for that vehicle. And then number 12, you're finding uh, your parts for the cost of repairs. You're replacing the radiator in your vehicle. You have certain gallons of antifreeze. You have, you're have putting in new plugs into your car. They have certain prices for each one. The two gallons of antifreeze, uh, number 12, that is um, th that $6.99 is price per gallon. So each gallon you're buying is $6.99. So, so $6.99 each. Uh, and then you're going two hours of labor, and the labor is kind of expensive on this one. And you're going 7% on all your purchase. Take your time. If you have questions you can attempt to ask, I cannot guarantee that I will tell you what the answer is because it's a test overall and you have to show me that you know what you're doing. Um, take your time. Um, goal is to look at our test scores tomorrow in class so you can see how you did. And if you want to take a retake, you have a week to do that. Okay? All right, that's it.